Hello everyone, we're excited to have you here and our webinar, um, I'm one of I'm Back at Work's webinar. Today we're here with Robin Samora. And just before we get started, I want to make sure that everybody can navigate their uh, webinar panel. So um, your webinar panel may look like one of these images. If it's open up, it would look like the image on the left. And if it's closed up, it will look like the image on the right. And to open or close it, you just click on the orange arrow up the top and it will open and um, it will expand or you can close it up. You can also move it out of the way if it's currently in the middle of your screen. You just click at the top and then you just um, hover on top and you move it to the side. Now in the last five minutes of the webinar, we will have a Q&A session. And um, to ask questions, you click on the gray bar where it says questions. You click on that and then you type in your questions in the blue rectangle. And we will address all of your questions at the end of the webinar. Now I am very excited to have Robin Samora here with us today. Robin is a small business marketing and PR expert and she will be talking with us today on the 10 branding secrets to help you get a job. And so that we can concentrate on the webinar, I will now turn my video camera off and I will pass it on to Robin. Hello Robin. Hello everyone, how are you today? Thank you for joining me and Mickey for 10 personal branding secrets to get a job. There we go. So what I wanted to do is to go over some of the things that are important with personal branding. And of course there aren't just 10 different items that uh, would be that you'd have for finding a job but to securing a job. There are hundreds of them but today we'll go over 10 important ones that 10 key elements that I think are important for securing and getting a job. Again, I've been doing this for 20 years plus and helping small business owners and entrepreneurs, even a Grammy artist win a Grammy. So these branding secrets for sure work and they can be applied to getting a job. So let's see, let's just move this along. Here we go. So today, what are you gonna learn? Today we're going to talk about what your vision is and what your purpose is and how to identify your core values. We're also going to be talking a bit about evaluating your skills, what skills you have, what you're naturally great at, what people have told you you're great at, what you might have won awards for or been published for if you're a writer. We're going to talk about the elements of creating a brand personality as well. Uh, because you are your brand wherever you go. Uh, it was, uh, someone once said to me, you know, you, your personal brand is what 10 people think of you. So whether that's good or bad, that's for you to evaluate, but we want to be sure that your brand personality is consistent all the way through, especially when you're looking for a job. And then of course we want to talk about ways to showcase your brand without selling your soul because I am a very, very big believer in being authentic with your brand no matter what you do and no matter where you go. Because people can spot a phony a mile away and you want to be sure that you are your brand wherever you go. So let's talk a little bit about what your vision and purpose is. So if you just look at these questions, and you don't have to write them down now, your answer to them, but these are important as finding, in finding out a little bit about who you are. So if you would take some time on this slide, not right now because we only have 30 minutes, but to take a look at this and ask yourself these questions. This is who I am and this is what I stand for. And this is important because you want to make sure that you have absolute clarity. Clarity is one of the most important things in building a brand. And as you're getting a job, you are building your brand and your brand is your brand is how people feel about you. That's what a brand is. So this is who I am and this is what I stand for. I also want you to really take a look on the inside level 
and really be truthful with, to yourself. I mean, really truthful. This is what I want in my life. And it can have to do with personal relationships. It can have to do with how you want to spend your days. Do you want to have more time with your kids and your pets? Do you want to travel uh, while you work? Do you want to, you know, um, just have a part-time job? These are all great things. There's no right or there's no wrong answer. Um, I want you to think about what you aspire to be, do, or have. Because when we think about our brand or what we want to be, we want to make sure that we are really thinking about the next level up, what we aspire to be, or to do, or to have. And, and then write down also, um, some items that are important to you, like, you know, must have the summers off, must take two weeks vacation, must live near my mom because she's not feeling well, um, uh, have to, uh, can't take a full-time job because my husband or partner um, needs me to do X, Y, Z, whatever it might be. So let's identify your vision and purpose, and these are some of the questions that you can ask. You also want to take a look about uh, look at your core values. What I did here is eight times three, twenty-four. <coughs> Excuse me. There were twenty-four values that I just quickly identified here: love, freedom, integrity, efficient, courageous, committed, artfulness, caring, be uh, beauty, whatever they might be, creativity. These core values are key to helping you determine your personal brand because your personal brand is an authentic repre representation of who you are. So you can look at these, uh, these, these words that I have listed here, but also at the bottom I wrote um, find an entire list to choose from and I gave you the address and I gave it to you at uh, tinyurl.com, what are my core values. This is a cool thing about tinyurl for anybody who's out there and wants to customize their URLs for presentations or whatever. Um, this will bring you to a web page that will give you about 500 different core values. Core values are important because you want to make sure that you live your life to your core values and live your work to your core values. So you'll never go wrong. You'll never make a mistake if you're always identifying what your core values are. While we look at our core values, at the same time to building a personal brand, we want to be sure that we evaluate our skills. So here are some other questions to ask yourself. So what's my specialty? Like if you have a specialty, like you might um, be a, 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 a fabulous interior designer. What's your experience? I've had 10 years working in the profession, in the corporate field. I took time off to have a child and now I want to come back part-time on, uh, on an independent contractor basis. So that 10 years is your, is your experience you had previously, but maybe you've been keeping up to date with all the trends and taking training on YouTube or other professional industry um, organizations or associations. So look at also what are your national talents, natural talents. Um, you know, are you, um, do you happen to, uh, what, what could be a natural talent? I mean, you know, are you uh, a great, have the gift of gab? Are you a great salesperson? Um, are you, uh, uh, do people come to you? You can find out what your natural talents are by how people come to you. I mean, I'm a great listener and I never really realized that that was one of my natural talents until people came and they, t and they asked me all kinds of questions. And I would listen to them and then offer them advice. What problems do you solve? So this is all part of this whole skill set. What are you committed to study and learn? So even if you haven't had, you know, 20 years, 10 years, five years experience, employees want to know that you are willing to put in the work before the job is required. In other words, are you learning something like, as I said before, on YouTube? Are you taking courses? Are you doing online training? This can be a very important part of your resume. Then again, we look at awards and recognition. Are you published? Um, are you an influence in your, in your field? Um, are you making lots of money? So this, you know, if you're making lots of money, that can tie back to a certain skill. 
And then lastly, we look at this. What five words or phrases tell your skill story? So you might want to think about that in great detail because some of these words or phrases can be used also um, on your LinkedIn profile, which we're going to talk about in a little bit. So to try to describe yourself in five phrases in this regard, and then answer these questions um, along with your core values. This is a bit of a homework that I'd love you to do because it will all be part of building your personal brand to get a job. So we also want you to look for work based on your val. Um, I don't know what that says. I think it says based on your values. <laughs> um, this is box here on the right. It's so funny. Okay, so we want to look at. You want to um, look at research. So, <coughs> excuse me. How are you going to be looking for work? You're going to be researching, right? So you're going to be researching on LinkedIn, on the web, you're going to be looking um, at meetups and things like that. You're going to be networking and, and asking people for referrals and listening with every, every bit of intention that you have. You know you can snoop anonymously on LinkedIn. So that means that you can turn your privacy settings off and um, you can snoop around actually, just don't forget to turn your privacy settings back on when you're done. And you can use the advanced uh, feature bar on LinkedIn, which will be really helpful for you um, to be able to do some research. Another thing that you can do is read. These are just a few examples. My goodness, I'm sure you guys have plenty of your own um, suggestions that we could add to this list. Read industry blogs. You get a lot of ideas. See who's, um, see who's moving and shaking in the industry, whether it's the Boston Business Journal or a business journal in your area. Um, newspapers or journals that are specific to your niche industry. Also, meetups. People don't really take meetups seriously, but I'm telling you, meetups can be an awesome way to look for a job to actually get publicity as well. Um, I know that I started a meetup and I actually was contacted by a, um, by a reporter at um, Necken um, when I was doing a gratitude workshop. So meetups uh, attract all different kinds of people and, um, and they're a great way where like-minded people um, get together and share ideas. Most importantly, what I want you guys to do, if you've been in the, if you've been looking for a job for a while, if you're new to looking for a job, if you've been out of the workforce for a bit, <coughs> excuse me, and think about coming back in, I want you to gain confidence step by step, inside and out, and get out of your comfort zone. So you have to be comfortable with the uncomfortable. This is all important as far as expanding your reach, and expanding your reach is really important. We want to start with the three C's of branding. You want to be clear on where you are and where you want to go. You want to be constant with your outreach and your visibility efforts. And you want to be consistent with your inspired plans and actions. There's three C's. Be clear, be constant, and be consistent. So you want to make sure that you, um, that you, that you embrace these three C's as part of your own personal branding strategy. Now, a brand personality, um, a brand personality can be you in any way, right? So it starts with the real you. So this is a picture of me um, as as a beekeeper, which I am a beekeeper. I was a beekeeper, but um, this is part of my brand personality. So um, I love to do things that are different. I love nature. Um, I love being in the outdoors. I like something that's different. That 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 my mind can travel a little bit because I'm always working. So I would always I would always say that I was a beekeeper um, because it's interesting and people employers always want to know interesting things about you. So it starts with the real you. So in developing your burn personality, you want to think about your voice, your social media voice, what you have to say. Um, what your aura is like, meaning, you know, how you make people feel, because a brand is how you make people feel. So combine it with your values and your skill. That makes a brand, and your brand, persona brand personality starts with the real you. 
So you always want to be sure to promote your best self. So I say this all the time when I'm speaking on stage or whether I'm teaching, whether I'm mentoring my own clients or I'm, I'm a panelist or I'm at a webinar or wherever I might go because my, my specialty is how to promote your business or brand even without a PR budget. So basically the deal is this. You are your brand wherever you go, so make sure it looks good. That means that if you're at a soccer game or you're at the grocery store, or you're at a volunteer event or you're at a networking event or you're attending a big conference where you've been invited or you might be speaking, you want to make sure that you have those three C's, right? That you are consistent, constant, and that you have clarity so that people will recognize you wherever you go. You also want to make sure that you always, always have an awesome photo of yourself. We're going to talk about that, I think, in a little while. And that would be a high-resolution photo. I would never want to see. You could look at LinkedIn horror stories. Just Google LinkedIn horrible pictures, and you'll be shocked. So I always want you guys to look good um, in these photos because these, whoops, because these photos will always be um, – They'll always travel with you. Remember, the internet never dies. Um, know that you create your own beliefs. If you think that you can't get a job, then chances are you might not get that job because what you put in your head grows. What you focus on grows. So I want to be sure that you know that you create your own beliefs, so shape them and up-level them. Who do you have to be that person? Who do you have to be the person that will will be right for this job, to get this job. If you start thinking about who you are from the inside out and up-level that, that inside person, then that outside person will show up. In other words, what you perceive, you believe. So start believing that you are certainly A, worthy, you have the skills, and act as if. I always also want you to um, maximize connection opportunities. Now, those, those um, connection opportunities can be online or offline. They can be with friends. They can be with strangers. You always want to make sure that you're meeting people every possible chance. I don't know how you guys network, but if you have business cards, if you run around with a resume, if you have a resume, make sure it's short, one page, really good looking. But I personally just love business cards and uh, make them unique and make them two-sided. I love two-sided business cards too. And you can now when you're uh, promoting your best self online and offline, you can attract rec recruiters with strategic inspired action. So you have inspiration, you have intention, and that's going to give you the delivered results. You want to also make sure that LinkedIn is your best friend. So you want to create a standout pro profile that shouts professional, right? Um, you want four key areas here that um, are very um, important. Your, your um, photo, your headline, um, your summary, those are important. Um, and then use this bar here called a pipe to add more keywords to your header. And you can use this bar, create this bar, by doing a shift and a backslash. And that will help you get there. I like to use that in the professional in header because you can add a lot of keywords there and you can you should promote your skills even if you're not feeling confident at the moment because how you think is temporary my job my my ask for you is to always up level the way you're thinking so that you're feeling confident and that online and offline you're really doing your best um, to promote your best skills and you want to make friends with Google, too. So, <clears throat> excuse me, spend time researching companies and articles. Um, you can look at Google for motivational um, videos and read success stories. Start a swipe file of material you like. So a swipe file just means a folder. I call it a swipe file. Um, a folder of material, articles, jobs. Um, industries to check out, companies to check out, and set up a Google Alerts account. 
So if you guys don't know what this is, this is awesome. I love this. Um, a Google Alerts account, um, you set up with, with a Gmail account. And so every time, say you wanted to work at General Electric. Uh, so every time that you wanted to read news about General Electric, you would set up a Google Alert to say, you know, give me news on General Electric. Uh, two or three times a day, once a day, three times a week, once a week, whatever. So when you are following up with people or um, industry associates or you have a job interview there, you'll always have the latest news because it will be delivered, um, it will be delivered right to your inbox. It makes you look really smart. Now, here's something that I'm not sure you guys want to do, but let's talk about it. It's about creating your own media. You are your own media. And that means that what you write, what you say, your video, this is all your own media. It's not um, controlled by anybody else. So, 10 easy ways to power up your brand. Create a mini website. You might think this is crazy, but actually, if you go to HubSpot.com, H-U-B-S-P-O-T.com, they have some awesome um, examples of websites for people looking for a job. I like a mini website because uh, you can talk about yourself. It can be professional. You can put that link um, in a letter or or uh, in a follow-up to a um, to an employer or to a recruiter. Always, always post on LinkedIn, and I'm, you should have a professional account um, no matter what, and great picture, and fill out the summary and all that, but I want you to post what's appropriate for your brand, for your industry, for what you're looking for. You can also um, join groups and engage, and that means you can join over 50 groups, but, but that's too much work. Don't do that much work. I'd like you to maybe subscribe to five groups in your industry, and then you can go from there and start to start to post, start to engage. Don't ask for a job. Don't start asking for stuff. Actually, just participate. It's social media, so be social. If any of you are writers in any way, you can blog. You can start a blog, and that blog could be your mini website, or you could guest blog. I did a lot of that. Um, you could create a five-minute video or a three-minute video. Well done. Don't produce any anything that's not really um, up to snuff. And you can have somebody do it for a couple hundred dollars if you wanted. Create a five-minute video about you. Have, put in some animation. Be fun. There are students at Emerson or other schools that could also do it for you. I want you to be seen, be heard, and get noticed. Now. Be interesting. I'm not suggesting, this is my client, uh, Laura Sullivan, who won a Grammy. I'm not suggesting that you wear her outfit on an interview in any way. But um, when she wanted to up her Facebook post, I said, why don't you go out and um, start um, trying on some dresses. And these dresses, and ask people to vote on which you should wear to different parties in Hollywood. So be interesting in everything you do. And speak out on social media. Um, this is just a URL that can give you different sizes for social media if you're going to be posting or creating your own graphics. But my, I believe my brand is colorful, so I put things out that are colorful. Speak out on social media. Don't talk about five things, sex, religion. Don't talk about how much money you make. Uh, you make. Um, don't talk about sports. Actually, you're not supposed to. Um, and don't talk about religion. So those are what you're not supposed to talk on, on social media about. And impress your recruiters. Write a blog. Let, let recruiters know that you're an expert. So remember that website that we talked that we talked about. Include your website link on letters and on follow-ups. And do an audit on your own social media and act as if. That means what you perceive, you believe. So perceive yourself as a winner, as a person worthy of this job, and it's amazing you'll be able to not only feel better walking into an interview, but you'll be able to also ask the money that you really want. And get out of your comfort zone. I love this slide. Um, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. Well, this, this uh, Einstein picture on the right is something from Photo Funnier where you can actually create your own graphics and I had him writing my Twitter handle so um, I think it's really funny I put it up on board sometimes and people always laugh and they go how did she get Albert Einstein to do that so get out of your comfort zone 
And if there's one thing that I always want you to remember, make it this. Shoot for the moon. Even if you miss, you'll land among the stars. And that's a saying by Les Brown. I know you guys can do it. Um, here's a report that I have called um, Grab the ABCs. Of, it's not called Grab. That's crazy. It's called the ABCs of Free Publicity. And you can find out how to promote your brand a little bit more. Um, but as I said, I, I write a blog called Robin's Rainmakers. You can sign up at robinsamora.com, and that would be for marketing and PR tips. A lot of these same tips can be used in job hunting. Not all of them because they're written for business, but they're written for brands, and you are a brand. So lastly, don't be the best secret in town. Um, so whenever you're ready, if there are questions for me, I'm happy to answer them. I want to be mindful of everyone's time, and we have five minutes left. Mickey? Thank you, Robin. So um, a couple of questions have already come up, and um, Deborah um, and everybody, you will receive a recording of the webinar about in about an hour, and you will be able to watch and follow it and pause and um, watch it whenever you want. And if you have friends who um, couldn't make it today, they will be able to register to watch the webinar at imbackatwork.com. Now, um, Donna also asked, uh, what are branding errors you have seen people make in the job search? So I'll start answering that and then I'll pass it on to, um, to Robin. So a few. Um, the horrors of LinkedIn photos are definitely one of the things that Robin mentioned and I can tell you that when you send in your resume or you get in touch with a recruiter, one of the first things that they will do is go on your LinkedIn profile. And I have seen photos of people that seriously look scary and I thought, no, I don't really want to get in touch with them. Or um, scary, inappropriate, etc. Um, other things are sending mixed messages. Uh, we had somebody come in for a position that um, a big part of it was attention to detail. And the CEO said to me, did you see how she was dressed? There's no way that she pays attention to detail. So what she was saying and what she actually looked and was doing was just not matching. So don't send um, mixed messages. Robin, what would you add to that? Oh yes, well there's quite a few, but I think dress has a lot to do with it, so you don't want to overdress, um, you don't want to overdress your boss, um, you want to make sure that you're well manicured, fingernails and all that kind of stuff, that you're early, not late. Um, I want you to know that uh, having a AOL or a Yahoo or any kind of a random um, email address, I am cute at yahoo 2345 um, is not okay. A Gmail account is okay. Any kind of spelling or spacing mistakes on your resume is not okay. You want to make sure that um, that whatever you're presenting to your employer or um, is very is very important so that they have they can make a quick judgment of you that's why I love the idea of a personal website because you have time to work on it it can be beautiful you can I mean it doesn't have to be expensive I'm really talking if you can do it yourself on Wix or Weebly I mean those are two sites that are or WordPress those are sites you can um, actually build your own site. A professional photo, we already talked about. I cannot tell you the craziness in photos that I've had. Also, as far as um, personal branding, when you meet in, uh, in person, a, a, a terrible handshake, not looking someone in the eye, fidgeting, um, wearing a dress or a skirt that's too short, um, having ripped nylons, these are all just seem to be basic. Um, you know, make sure you put a mint in your in your mouth before an interview, especially if you've been drinking coffee in the car like all of us do all the time. Branding secrets can also be as far as cleaning up your social media act. You don't think people check and you think it's private? Well, that is no, not true. You want to make sure that you are totally clean, that you have no uh, that that your comments are are all clean and that um, they're on brand. You don't have to be an angel. I certainly am not an angel in any way, shape or form, and I love to have fun, but I'm very mindful about when I post or what I post, and let me tell you, a lot of people have gotten in a lot of trouble posting after a couple of cocktails on a, a Friday late afternoon. 
You also want to be mindful about, you know, what you say about you. Always be grateful. That's a real good branding secret. Always to, we all know, write a note, but always be grateful. Um, and just really be yourself, but be the best version of yourself. Okay. Well, thank you everybody for joining us today. We um, our half an hour is up, and I want to I want to thank you for joining us today. And I hope you um, join the I'm back at work um, our other webinars um, to help you in this process of returning to work. So thank you, Robin, and thank you everybody else for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. And anybody that has questions, please feel free to reach out at robin at robinsamora.com. I'm happy to look at your uh, LinkedIn profile if you like or spend 15 minutes with you on the phone asking any questions. It's my way to um, help you because you're all awesome. Don't forget that. Thank you. Goodbye, everyone.